Welcome back one and all, my name is Ultimar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Mask of the Betrayer. Where we left off last time, we just cleared out the um, theater of Red Wizard Incursion. And now we have to go talk to some actors and actresses which have apparently vanished into thin air. I'm just going to move my screen a tiny bit. There we go. That's better. We have to figure out where they went and go talk to them. Get some information as to what happened. Watch loading screens. There we go. That looks silly. Ooh. Okay. Keep your distance, witches. I've studied your laws and we've broken none. You know our laws. But I know you, child. Even if these others do not. You will be better served by keeping silent. Look, Shiva, the girl's companion. It's that one who offends the land and draws an army to our gate. Speak your name, foreigner, and be warned that you address the Wick Lauren. Uh, I am Eltimore Dreadwind, and I came to your city to find a woman called Lyanna. Unfortunately, it seems that I arrived too late. Then Magda spoke true? She said they were Thayans, that they appeared from the very shadows. Calm, Katya. You are a witch now, not a farm girl. You crossed spells with our mortal enemies, foreigner, and drove them from our midst. For that, much may be forgiven. Forgiven? I've committed no crime. But the Bear God has marched an army of spirits to our gate, and he roars for your blood. He claims that you have defiled his sacred den and loosed an evil upon the world. And the Bear God does not lie. I can smell the wrongness on you, foreigner. It hangs upon you like a corpse shroud. The dwarf woman Magda may know more about Lyanna. I must speak with her. How do we know that you wouldn't have slain Lyanna yourself? How do we know you won't do the same to Magda? Make your peace with the bear god, foreigner, and we will know you for a friend. Ah, oh, man. Then I will... I suppose I have no choice. I will confront Aku, alone if need be. Alone? I haven't come this far with you to let you face the spirits by yourself, unless that's truly what you wish. No. Nope. No witch may stand against the spirits of the land, but I will honor the debt we owe you, foreigner, for defeating the Red Wizards. Go to our prison on the north edge of town. Any convict who is willing to stand at your side will be granted a full pardon. Seriously, you're gonna... Hey, where's my other comma? All right, I'll take any help I can get. You know not what dreams may lie hidden behind steel and ruin, foreigner. Nor what paths they might open to you. You will watch from our high place, and we will receive you again. If you return alive. Cool. I need to check where my comma is. Did I leave it inside? On the ground when I got disarmed? I think I might have. That is a gigantic mistake on my part. A very expensive one, actually, because commas are not cheap. We'll jump back into the Shadow Realm and pick it up. It won't take very long. I was like, wait a minute. Something is seriously wrong with my character model. He's only got one weapon. Disarm is annoying in that regard. It really should just uh, put it back to your inventory, but I guess putting it on the ground makes it a little more... nasty. Hey, where's my comma? Did I pick it up somewhere? Did somebody else pick it up? For me? Follow me, now. I don't see it anywhere. Did I put it in a bag of holding by accident? Well, what the... I mean, you for sure don't have it on you for whatever reason. Uh, Alright, fine. Oh, there it is. It's on the ground there. It just doesn't light up when we hit uh, Zed for some reason. That's weird. But okay, you know what? We got it back. I'm happy enough about that. 
and we can actually get out of here and go recruit possibly some friend enemies, some frenemies. I'm sure they're not going to be thrilled we're leading them into almost certain death against a uh, bear god. Now at least we have both weapons again though, that makes me happy. That would have been very, very bad if we did not. Also, we are not really close to a level, which is disappointing. I'm kind of looking forward to leveling up again. In a couple of levels, we should be able to hit our Weapon Master, and we will be doing that a little bit. We couldn't help but over here, an army of angry spirits awaits you at the gates of Mulsantir. You'll perhaps require more help against such a host. My bow and my brother's sword will aid you. Should you agree to first help us find our lost sister, Kaelin the Dove? Where is she? She came here seeking the abandoned stronghold of Miracle, the Death's God Vault, which is in the shadow, Mosentir. Why don't you find her yourselves? Entering Miracle's sanctum would be a violation of our faith to Kelimvor. Isn't Kaelin viola violating her faith by going there? Kaelin has abandoned her faith in Kelimvor. For this, she was exiled from our grandfather's court. She now follows Ilmater, the god of martyrs. We hope to find her sister and convince her not to become a martyr herself. Uh, what is the Death God's Vault? Whoops, I had the wrong one. I asked instead, tell me of Miracle. As you may know, Miracle, or Michael, is the former god of the dead slain by Mister in the time of troubles. Sirik took Miracle's place and then was deposed by Kelimvor, the present god of the dead. We are followers of Kelimvor, as was Kaelin until she abandoned her faith. What is the vault? The Death God Vault has been abandoned since Miracle's death. It was used as a library and a prison, and a secure place to store things valuable to the Mirkulite faith. Alright, I'll go to it. Thank you. We will be very grateful to once more lay eyes upon our beloved sister. Go with care. The Death God's Vault may contain some of Miracle's old defenses. Kalembor's blessing be with you. Go find it. I can't remember where that is actually at all. We'll also hit up the prison. See if we can't recruit any. Uh, it might be this place here. Let's go inside. This doesn't look like it though. No, this is definitely not it. This is the Temple of Kalemvor. Not the thing we are looking for. I like how Sigil is now like a hand holding scales. That's pretty cool. He is the judge of the dead, basically. That's his sort of whole thing. His whole spiel. Temple of the Three and some sort of gate opening thing here. We'll head up here and just see what's up here. Looks like there's a dirt mound. Excellent. Always good to get our dirt on. Unidentified boots. And a berserker. So the regular soldiers are the normal sort of soldiery of Rashomon are generally considered berserkers. It's sort of a uh, Norse type culture, sort of. I don't think they would approve of us going through the fresh graves, so we're probably not going to do that. We will go to the prison though and see if anyone wants to come along and die with us. As you've disturbed the spirits, you also disturb me. For what reason are you here? Sheva Whitefeather told me I could find help here against the spirit army. Help from this lot? Trust in their help and you'll find yourself alone when trouble comes. But if you wish to persist in this foolishness, you may speak with the prisoners. Be warned. Two, you need not fear, but for the third, guard your thoughts. Alright. We have mighty Groznik. We have Job the Cutfurs. Cutpurse, sorry. And we have gone. Let's talk to them in order. Let's talk to Mighty Grozneck first. You want something from me? I'm looking for help to fight an army of spirits. 
No hand will I raise against spirits. The reach in their memories are long. I haven't seen anyone like you before. He's a hag spawn. Mother was a hag, father was some unlucky fellow. Quiet, small one, I can speak my own words. He does speak true, because of my heritage, I am an outcast. Is that why you're in here? No. There were three who taunted me into a rage, my blade was the first to leave its sheath, and so here I wait. Wait for what? His hanging, what else? Or they might toss him for the cliffs. I'm not really sure how it all works. Enough, small one, do not speak my words for me. I am trapped in this existence as an outcast through no fault of my own. I gladly accept my fate since it will bring me the peace which has eluded me. Go now, I do not wish to speak to you any further. Well, he's not going to help us. I don't want to cut first, but... If you're going to ask me what you asked Grosneck, then I got the same answer. No. Okay. Ah, more jailers come to rattle my cage. Here I was, settling into a relaxing dream. Now you've gone and spoiled it. I am not your jailer, but I might be your benefactor. Ah, honeyed words from the other side of the cage. And what tune must I sing in return, I wonder? Whatever wards and locks bind this prison, I think clever words are the key to unlocking them. Go on. I am listening to your offer, my benefactor. What crime have you been jailed for? <sighs> my crime? It is a serious one. You see, I am too handsome to look upon. It is a burden I alone must bear. Besides, I have no interest in the softly flowing curves of the tattooed one with you, so you need not fear me as a rival. What did he just say? It is no matter. Here I will remain, so as not to ruin your chances with a fairer sex. I'm looking for recruits to protect Mulsant here. Are you interested in? Seeking soldiers, are you? You have come to the wrong cell. I am neither foolhardy nor desperate enough to fight barbarians or Thaeans. How about spirits? Go find a poor house and scatter a few coppers. That might yield better results. Actually, I need help fighting a spirit army that gathers outside Mulsantir. The army of spirits is at the gates? So, they have arrived. I was wondering when that might take place in the real world. You knew this was going to happen? Now, now. Knowing and telling are two different beasts. And the bear god... He is a third. If I may say, you are rather brave to marshal an army to meet them. That's no ordinary band of spirits out there. That's a hornet's nest of beasts. They're screaming for blood so loudly, I can hear them in my dreams. And I am suddenly struck with the suspicion that the blood they seek is yours. Grave robber, are you? Tisk tisk. One should leave barrows of the ancient bear god alone lest he come for you in his garishly colored furry rage. So, entertain me, brave one. Why would one such as I follow you into such a hopeless battle? Seems to me that besting the bear god of old might earn you enough clout in the spirit world for centuries to come. Oh, so you seek to make my pride Darn. stand and dance? What kind of glory-bound fool do you take me for? Although I will admit, oh. your perspective makes some sense, and appeals to my natural hubris. So is that a yes, then? Very well. You have a willing soldier at your side. Shall we be off? And please, let us visit the Witch Warden on the he way out. He vanished. So I can pay my respects to her gentle, loving soul. He just disappeared. Hmm? What is he? I can't remember. He's a spirit shaman. Chaotic neutral. He has only 14 charisma, so he's not as handsome as he thinks he is. And he has no weapon. Does he use weapons? He uses short bows. I think we even have a short bow around, possibly. Ah, uh, at last my eyes fall upon your beauty, my matron of the cell. This one is cursed for taking you spawn of hags, and I shall be glad to be rid of you. Nothing but trouble for me, and for the city you are. Shall you be glad to be rid of me, beautiful matron? Do not think I did not see the longing in your eyes. You cast at me as you drew your rune circles on the floor of my cell. What lies are these? Eyes of shame are the only eyes I have for you. Shame. No, no, there's no need to mask the feelings I stir in you and your age, but it makes you seem wrinkled like a prune fruit. I see what dances in your thoughts as you dream the slow hours of the day here away in this prison. In the golden woods of Erling, you once sang for an hour a hymn to the sun and dreamed that it was a shield carried by a warrior who watched over you. 
and such passion in that song. Why, it gives you strength even now. You are a dangerous creature, Dreamwalker. The tales of you all speak such, and many are those you wound with your arrow flight of words and humor. Do not think us death to those who suffer because of your careless footsteps and their thoughts and dreams. Get hence from my thoughts, I warn you. So what she says true? Yeah, she speaks truly. I am that which farmers with ripe daughters fear, the masked brigand who watches, who dances in the fires of the sweet child's minds and leaves footprints that no wind or time can erase. And old mother, do not think your mind has not laid down such paths for me to stroll, such thoughts in a woman your age. It would put even a farmer's fiery loin daughter to shame. You are a thief and a twister of words. Go meet with the spirit army then, but you will not have my blessing upon you now or ever. Dude has some serious hubris talking to a witch like that, but you know what? Perhaps he does stir her up a little bit. I didn't know where I was going with that sentence. There's two paths that could have gone down and both were equally bad. Alright, let's take a look around. We need to find this miracle place. I can't remember where it is for the life of me, actually. Possibly in that. That's the Ice Troll Lodge. Definitely not that one. That's the Rashemi Home. Also not that one. Could be in the Temple of the Three, but I don't think so. It might be over here, actually. Take a quick look at. Take a quick look around, though, and see what we can find. It's definitely not in the theater. That's the sloop. That's the other theater. We'll also look around for people to talk to. I don't think we need to take a ferry. Maybe we can steal a boat and just leave. Vassil. What does Vassal have to say? Have to say for himself. This is the finest bolt in all sent here. Built it with the help of my daughter's witch magic. Cool. Can I take it? This is a witch boat. It cannot be used unless you know the command word for it. No. Oh. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. We should also probably find him a short bow at some point. Hi, fairy guy. Can you take me to the shadows? Almost. Nope. Apparently not. There's a barrel to loot. Ooh, thieves tools. We do not have a thief. But that's okay. Rashemi home. Bunch of junk. The veil is the one theater. Oh, we need to find the other plane of shadow. Way to another plane of shadow in Mulsant here. I'm gonna figure out where that is. Guess I'll have to wander around a little bit. Some berserkers having a friendly duel. This guy is not happy. My, you're a cheerful fellow. He is growling at me and chasing me. We'll look around, but if we can't find the shadow, we'll, uh... Look it up next time. Might be up there. Statue of Shanti, Statue of Milikai, and Statue of Mistra. There are. Oh, that's. These are the witches. These are the ones that are telling us what to do. Uh, let's go talk to them. Maybe they know how to get to the miracle place. The bear god still roars for your blood, foreigner. Why do you stand at our sacred ground? Tell me about Shadow Mulsantir. Where'd you hear of that? Have you been listening to the rumors of foreigners? In the Vale, I passed through a portal into a shadowy version of the theater. Hmm, indeed. I suppose there is little point in keeping the secret from you, as we have kept it from most of Mulsantir. I will mark a location on your map. Go there at night with the, st with the stone you were given by Magda. I almost coughed there. All right, we need to wait for nighttime now. Then, and the location on our map is right there. I wonder if we can go now. What time of day is it? Where's my clock? It is hour twelve. I mean, we could just rest for eight hours. It'll be nighttime. Good enough. 
It is now 20 hours. Which means it's 8 o'clock at night. What a lovely little town. It has an awful lot of walls for like seven buildings, but still. It's a nice place, I guess. Also has a lot of walls for its apparent population because it's got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? 13 sort of house type structures. It doesn't seem like enough to defend a city this size. There's the portal. It's a good thing they told us it was here because we would never have found it without it, without their little uh, help. We have to go find that one girl. It's so spooky here. Let's just look around. This is actually kind of spooky. So shadowy and ghostly. This is the shadow plane. So when you think of, um... Oh, what was that race of Netherese called? They lived in a city called Shade. I think they were the... Nope. What are we fighting? Where are you fighting? Oh, there's some shadows here. You don't need to burn all of your spells. They went way overkill on that one. Also, um, they were a race of netheries and they lived. The Shadowvar. The Shadowvar were a race of netheries who escaped the doom of their race by um, traveling to the Shadow Plane. This is where they would have lived for like centuries. Attacked by shadows all the time, becoming one with the shadows. Like... Ain't no one want to be living in this place for a long time. There's a Nightwalker. Those things are tough. Or at least they can be. Oh, there's a Dread Wraith here too. experience though. I'm not going to complain about that. Alright, let's go fight the Nightshades. Nightwalkers. Sorry. Nightwalkers can be tough. They're big. We can't hit it. We're going to be tanking for our, ma our mages and hoping that they can take on these guys. We can probably help ourselves out though. Hopefully that helps us. Yeah, we can actually do a little bit of damage now. Not a whole lot, but some. Six hundred experience. You couldn't use that spell earlier when it would have been more useful. Oh well. We might actually have to rest in here because we are gonna need some of our spells back. We just burned a ton of spells. Can't rest while there are enemies nearby. There's a dread wraith there. Okay, we can go take on a dread wraith. They're not that bad. We can actually hit them. There we go. We need better weapons, pretty badly. Okay. 
A nearby enemy has interrupted our rest. Where? Oh, Shadow Spider. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It briefly vanished, but then came back. Kill the next one too. This is too much to carry. Encumbered is a bad thing for us. Um Okay, what do these do? A Lich Skull is a helmet that gives minus two charisma. Can only be used by Pale Masters, Red Dragons, Sorcerers, or Wizards. Gives a ton of spell resistance and stuff like that, but it's not particularly good. We will put it away. Black Robe of the Archmage Eye, only usable by evil wizard sorceresses, or wizards. It's a damn nice robe, but we can't use it, sadly. What do these boots do? Boots of Hardiness, plus three. Dodge and Constitution, we already have a pair of those, don't we? Yes, so she can have a pair now. We'll give the other ones to him. Already, already has them. Okay. And we'll open our bag of holding. Dump the Lich Skull and the robe in there. And we're going into fight. We also didn't loot that body. Pretty damn close to a level. And let's check this grave out. Tower shield and a cloak. To carry. I think you've mistaken me. Yes. Cloak of protection against good. I mean, she's not wearing a cloak, so that'll have to do. I am certain. And yes. the other thing we got is a tower shield of dark steel. Yes. What is it? It's uh, plus four, plus two, bonus versus good. Things in the shadow plane tend to get uh, Come this way. twisted into evil. Also, that's a damn nice scythe. If we had scythe weapon master right now, we'd be set. Keen enhancement for? I mean, that's pretty much exactly what we would be looking for. Too bad we didn't go that route. Oops. Ah, I hit the wrong buttons. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. There we go. Is it still dangerous to rest here? Yes, yes it is. All right, um... We could try and rest, I guess. We'll try in front of the door to, uh, Miracle's Hut. Look at that, though. That's pretty damn cool. I wish I could... The camera angles kind of suck sometimes, because you can't see everything. Look at that. That's awesome. Probably going to be attacked in our sleep. That's a Malorite. I actually don't know what a Malorite is. We'll try and rest one more time. If we can't do it, we'll just go inside. Hey, it worked! We weren't attacked in our sleep. Let's go inside. Well, that mildly sucked. But we don't have anyone that can do traps or lockpicks, so... No point in trying to avoid traps. It is very dark in here. Let's quick save again.
Kaelin the Dove is there here. There are few who would brave the tattered black gates that tie this shadow will send here to its twin. Yet you have come, brave or not. What is your reason for coming here? Has something called you to this place? Are you Kaelin the Dove? Your siblings have been looking for you. That does not surprise me. My siblings are loyal and often quite persistent. No doubt it was Ephraim or Sousa who you met. Possibly both. I have been cut off from the menagerie for some time, and it seems they have not given up the hunt. But it would be unlike them to surrender such a hunt, especially for their sister. I am Kaelin, formerly of the House of the Triad. My spirit now lies within the House of Ilmater. I too follow the Suffering God, well met sister. A fellow adherent. It seems even in this kingdom we bring Ilmater's hope, and I am pleased we have met. Even in this place, I can feel his presence. And it grants me the strength to continue on. What brings a priest of Ilmeter to the Shadow Plain? I seek entrance to the depths of this vault. The next stage of my pilgrimage lies there. And this gate before me is but another obstacle placed in my path. Do you know how to open the gate? I have stood before this door and studied its surface for days countless. And let my eyes fall upon the black upon black, the thin etchings of its surface. If you relax your eyes to the shadow, you see the true depths of the artistry of these mosaics. Some written in ash, others in shale, slate, and dyed tile black. Within these shades is a key, and once unlocked, the path will continue on. Would you consider traveling with us? Perhaps we could help you. I would welcome company. My watch here has been a silent one. Still, my purpose is here. I must find a way to the lower vault. No matter what I try, this gate blocks my efforts. I can find no key, no means of opening it. I do not know what more to do. If we join together, Kaelin, we may be able to achieve a greater goal than if we were apart. I would welcome such help. I have traveled alone for too long, too long for my brothers and sisters. Perhaps you were called here, just as I was. If so, perhaps the plains have need of us. Perhaps I pledge myself so. to your service. Let us see what good we can achieve by our alliance, and may Ilmater bless our endeavor. Very well, let's go. Kaelin is a cleric and a capable or and capable of casting very powerful healing spells. Her cleric abilities also make her very useful when battling undead, and her half-celestial heritage grants her a number of unique racial feats, such as immunity to disease and damage reduction versus non-magical weapons. Me, my she I is neutral good. She uses a mace plus four in one hand. We're gonna give her that quick chat button. She's got incredible wisdom and incredible charisma, which means she's gonna be awesome at turning undead. And other than that, she's just a pretty generic cleric. What kind of spells does she have lined up? We need to go through her spells. We'll do that later. That's a lot of stuff to do. We're actually out of time right now anyways. So, yes. where we're at at the yes. moment, we are pretty close to a level. Yes. Mm, my other group members yes. are not so close. What level is she, by the way? She's level 17, so she is our level, but yes. we'll fall behind a tiny bit, but that's okay. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, mm -hmm. Please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.